Hey guys, Elpaka77 here and I'm back again to look at this week's Team of the Week, December the 12th and like last week, I'll just focus on the silver players and perhaps look at the bronze in form as well. So we'll jump straight into this and here's the Team of the Week. The first silver in form to look at is Basong, the Cameroon centre-back from Norwich. I think he scored three goals in four games and that's why he's in form. He does look like an absolute tank and he is going for over 400k at the moment. So I won't be able to buy one myself to review but if anyone does get hold of one and fancies lending me him for about a day or so or maybe even a few hours that will probably work out as well then that would help me out a lot and it will give me a chance to review him. Anyway though on to his in game stats. He's six foot two, he is left foot, he has medium work rates and three star, three star weaker foot, two star skills. Next is his physical attribute, 75 acceleration, 77 jumping, 80 sprint speed, which is amazing for a silver centre-back, and also 89 strength. His mental attributes, they're nice as well, 84 aggression and 75 interceptions. And lastly are his skill attributes, 67 ball control, 70 curve, 79 heading accuracy, 76 marking, 78 shot pass, 77 stand tackle, slide tackle I mean, and lastly the 88 stand tackle which is amazing. So on to the next player and that is the 68 rated Belgium goalkeeper who plays in the Dutch league Eredivisie for VLM, I think that's who pronounced the name of the club, something like that. And he is 6 foot 4. He is nice and tall, but to be honest, no one's really going to use him, and I'll probably go for discard price. So you can pick him up, I may pick him up for my collection, but no one's really going to use him, so I may as well move on to the next player. So the next player is Adam Matthews, the Welsh right back for Celtic. Got really nice card stats there for a defender, 80 pace, 71 dribbling, 70... 6 defence and 77 passing, so overall really nice stats for right back. On to his in-game stats now, he's 5 foot 10, he is right footed, has high attacking work rates and might not be the best for a defender, medium defensive work rate, 3 star weaker foot and 2 star skill moves. Physical attributes, they're all quite nice there, 78 acceleration, 78 jumping, 84 sprint speed and 76 strength, the standout stats there. In the mental attributes, 71 aggression and 78 interceptions, those are his best stats there. And lastly, your skill attributes with 76 ball control, 83 crossing, 81 curve, 74 long pass, 78 marking, 80 short pass, 76 shot power and 79 stand tackle. Moving on to the next player and that is the Scottish right mid that plays for Norwich and that is Snodgrass, the second silver Norwich player in this week's team of the week. It's really nice cards, that's 70 pace, not the fastest, but he is tall, 81 dribbling, 74 shooting and 75 passing. We can take a look at his in-game stats, and as I said, he is tall, he is 6 foot 1, left-footed, high attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate, 4 star skills, 3 star weaker foot, physical attributes quite nice, 70 acceleration, 77 agility, 72 sprint speed, 73 strength. Next are his mental attributes, 69 aggression, 71 attacking positioning, and 75 vision, those are his standout stats there. And lastly, onto his skill attributes, which are absolutely quality, 89 curve, 84 dribbling, 84 finishing, 91 free kick accuracy. 84 penalty, 79 shot power and lastly 72 volleys. So next player is the only bronze of this week's team of the week and I thought I may as well show you him as well as a lot of people like silvers also like bronzes. So that is Alvaro Anton, he is a Spanish centre attacking mid who plays for CD Guadalajara in the Liga Adelante which is the Spanish second league. Not really nice card stats for a bronze, 74 pace, 69 dribbling and 70 shooting as well as 67 passing. We can take a look at his in-game stats as well, and he's 5 foot 9, right footed, medium attacking work rate, low defensive work rate, 4 star weaker foot, 3 star skill moves, he also has fairly decent physical attributes for a bronze, 78 balance, 77 agility, 75 sprint speed. His mental attributes aren't the best though, 62 aggression, 61 attacking positioning, 62 vision, not very good at all. But lastly, your skill attributes, 72 ball control, 82 curve, 70 dribbling, 76 free kick accuracy, 80 long shots and 94 shot power, amazing stats there for a bronze. So the last player in this week's Team of the Week is the Austrian striker Philipp Hossiner, who plays for FK Austria, I think, in the Austrian League. And he is, in fact, a second in form. His first in form was a 71, and now he's been upgraded again to a 74. So he does have some amazing card stats. Seven, uh, 84 pace, I mean, 73 dribbling, 78 shooting. Those are his best stats there. And we can take a look at his in-game stats now. So he's 5 foot 10, he is right footed, has medium work rates, 3 star skills and 3 star weaker foot. So that's quite nice for a striker. There's his physical attributes, they're really nice, upgraded a lot. 87 sprint speed, 84 acceleration, 85 agility, 70 strength as well. His med attributes, they're not very good apart from attacking positioning. Attacking positioning at 72 is quite good for a silver striker. And lastly are his skill attributes which are upgraded a lot. 73 ball control, 75 dribbling, 92 finishing. 71 long shots, 83 penalties, 90 shot power and 90 volleys. 
So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this week's overview of all the silver and forms in the most recent team of the week. As usual, if there's players from this team of the week that you want me to review, then please do let me know. I don't have time to review every silver and form that comes out each week, but I did review Peloshi and Vossen from last week's. So I'll try and review perhaps Basong and Hosina from this week's if I can get hold of them. So if any of you guys do get hold of them and don't mind me boring them to review them, then that would help a lot, but I'll try my best otherwise. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a like as that does help a lot as well. And thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.